Okay, now we're going to try to pull all of the things we've learned about integral equations together to solve some practical problems. So first off, remember we've got Bernoulli's equation, which conserves energy without looking at losses or gains. And Bernoulli's equation allows us to typically find velocities in our flow. We can conserve mass. And if we have a steady flow, that boils down to just that the mass flow rate coming in is equal to the mass flow rate going out. And we can do those balances. That'll tell us what our mass flows look like. Finally, we can conserve momentum. And with these in combination with conservation of momentum, that'll tell us what the forces are on a stationary object. Now, in most mechanical systems, we're interested in moving objects. So if I had a turbine blade, for example, that had a flow coming and hitting the turbine blade, and some of the kinetic energy of that flow is lost, passing over the turbine blade, and goes into work that's done on the turbine blade as it moves along at some velocity like this. With that moving target, there's work done. It's force times displacement work. So we can't use Bernoulli, at least not directly. And we don't know, therefore, what the exit speed is or the direction. So what can we do about that? We've got a system up here that allows us to work with situations where there's no loss or gain in energy. And we've got a system here where there is a loss or gain in energy. Can we use these tools somehow to attack this kind of problem? And the secret to that is to change your frame of reference. Change your frame of reference so that no work is done. If that blade was only sitting still, this jet would do no work on the blade. It would just get diverted off that way. It would go out with the same kinetic energy it came in with. And we know how to analyze that problem. So let's take the same blade. Pretend that's a drawing of the same blade. Let's put it in a control volume that isn't fixed to the page. This control volume is moving along at the same velocity that the blade was moving at when we had it in a control volume fixed to the page. Now, inside this control volume, the blade is stationary. Outside this control volume on our fixed to the page reference, we've still got fluid coming in this way fairly quickly. But because this frame of reference is moving that way, the relative velocity is quite a bit smaller. And Bernoulli's equation is going to tell us that that velocity remains the same because there's no work done. So we're going to move the control volume at the same speed as the object in this case the blade, we wind up with no work done in this frame. And I'm left with the question, where did the energy go? Well, let's look at it. Here we had lots of kinetic energy. Here we had the same amount of kinetic energy. Here we had less kinetic energy coming out because of the work that was done on the blade. We go from this kinetic energy, and because the control volume is moving, the velocity relative to the control volume is lower. So in this frame of reference, the jet actually had less energy to start with. So the energy that's going into the blade in this frame of reference is energy that we've taken out of the jet before it even gets to the control volume. It's a little bit of frame of reference, sleight of hand. So what's happening? The fluid jet arrives with, with less energy. If all of this works out, we've converted this moving problem into a stationary problem, and then we can convert it back again. So we start with this moving problem, we convert it into a stationary problem, we can find the forces. The forces will remain the same in both frames of reference. Having found the forces, we can then go back out and find out how much work was actually done. So let's go on and try this on a few actual cases and see how it works. 